Welcome to Backyard Plus. In this video, we are going to show you how to test the pressure switch on a hotspot Hawk or Cedric control box. If you have double dashes on your control panel, it means you have a bad pressure switch. This test is very easy and will only take a couple of minutes. First, let's determine the tools you will need. You will need a large Phillips head or flathead screwdriver. This is the error code you will see on your control panel when you have a bad pressure switch. Now let's do the pressure switch test. Step 1. Disconnect power from the SPA. Step 2. Unplug the pressure switch from the pressure switch port on the motherboard. Step 3. Remove the filter. Step 4. Reconnect power to the SPA. Step 5. Immediately start the low speed pump by pressing the JETS button once. You may have to wait a few seconds for the control box to boot up before you can get the low speed JET to turn on. Step 6. Immediately jump the top two pins of the pressure switch on the motherboard by touching the top two pins together with a large flat blade or Phillips head screwdriver. Hold the screwdriver down firmly between the top two pins for at least 15 to 20 seconds. You need to make a solid connection between the two pins. Step 7. The red heat light D20 will come on and the double dashes on the control panel will go away. This means you have a bad pressure switch. Step 8. If the red LED heat light fails to come on and the double dashes don't disappear, repeat the test using a different screwdriver. Sometimes you will have to do the test a few times before the red heat light turns on and the double dashes disappear. Thanks for watching. Our goal here at Backyard Plus is to save you money by avoiding costly service calls for repairs that you could easily do by yourself. If you have any questions or need to place an order, Feel free to give us a call at 805-541-9000 or visit us online at backyardplus.com.